Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Baldwin number 0430 roller latch. This one is shown in a 102 finish. Oil rubbed bronze is what Baldwin's terminology is for um, 102 is Baldwin's terminology for oil rubbed bronze is what I meant to say. So what it looks like, being Baldwin, the packaging is always very good, very exceptional, in fact. Um, they do a great job at isolating everything. Uh, you'll notice that the screws are physically separated from the finished hardware. Everything is physically separated from each other. really works to dissuade any possibility of, of damage to any of the hardware whatsoever, and that's appreciated. Uh, quality hardware manufacturers always do that. Not everyone does, but quality manufacturers do. They understand how they have to isolate those parts. Um, screws can make a um, quite negative impression, uh, literally impress their profile or their silhouette onto the material itself um, when packaged incorrectly. Okay. This is what a Baldwin 0430 roller latch looks like. It is, a rel it is a very common format. The footprint, everything about this roller latch is not unique to Baldwin, that's to be sure. But what I can tell you is that this uh, Baldwin item has a substantially, um, a substantially softer spring mechanism to make the door engage in the strike. Works very smoothly in this orientation. In a vertical orientation, it works very smoothly as well. Hanging it down here seems to hang up a little bit. Um, but now the problem's gone away. So there you go. Must have been just a little burr on something in there. 102 finish. That's what it looks like. Um, the two sets of springs are basically there to allow you to be able to tailor the projection of the bolt itself as I rotate those two screws and it would be awfully nice if those were in a bit more of a complementary finish. Um, they allow us to tailor the projection uh, of the bolt itself And as I am sitting here studying this, I, I don't see how they are able to adjust the projection on the roller latch at all. And in fact, I believe they've assembled it incorrectly. I think they have the springs in the wrong orientation. This heavier spring, in my estimation, does not belong in the top portion than it belongs in the bottom portion. So on camera here, I'm going to reverse all of this and see what happens. Got that bottom plate disconnected. I'm going to put that down. I'm going to pull the two lighter springs out, put those down. I'm going to pull my the business end of this out. I've got one of the springs here. I'm going to pull the other one down. I'm going to reverse these springs. I've never seen a roller latch that didn't like this that did not adjust correctly. I was staring at it as if it was in a foreign language. Um, let's put it back together and see what happens here. Stiffer springs should go on the bottom next. We're going to get that plate. It's like watching paint dry. Who's rooting for me? All right, pause the camera. I just needed to get that paused. Uh, I needed to get the piece on my desktop in front of me. 
so I can get those screws put together. So now I've reversed that, okay? Um, and, and indeed, <laughs> you know, we're certainly going to see that we can now adjust that. So Baldwin put that bad boy together incorrectly. I've never seen a piece of Baldwin hardware ever put together, assembled incorrectly. So now at this point, we have hardly no amount of the screw brought into the unit at all. In fact, it's basically flush. It's not going to really go anywhere. It will, if I were to push that down, it does make those two big screws compress ever so slightly. But as I tighten the adjusting screws, kind of sticking out there a little bit, bring them parallel. I do indeed have that sticking out further than I did, no doubt. Okay, that's how these are supposed to operate. Bigger screens, screws, uh, springs around the bottom. Okay, so mystery solved. I looked at it and wondered what in the, what am I doing wrong? Um, now this is going to have a full lip strike, is what the 0430 comes with. And by the way, all of the exposed parts are certainly made of solid uh, cast brass. Certainly all cast brass. This full lip strike is going to be two and a quarter tall. You can see why we would call it a, I wouldn't call this a full lip strike in the sense of it having a um, resemblance to a strike that you'd see in a passage set or, you know, a latch set on a door or a keyed lock as well. But a full lip strike in the sense that the lip is continuous with the front end uh, versus how it would be on a T-strike or an ANSI strike. So two and a quarter is the height. The overall width and now we're getting into the dimensional properties of the template down below. About an inch and 11 sixteenths. These strikes, all strikes in fact, are measured from the center of the screw hole to the edge of the lip. And this is one and three sixteenths, as you can see there. Um, I'm going to put the strike back in because it is oil rubbed. And it is full of the material used in its namesake. That put back where it belongs. The, the uh, roller latch height of the body itself is 3 and 3 eighths. And again, that is a standard uh, size that you're going to find on products like this. The advantage of the Baldwin item is that they're always assembled correct. Um, the advantage of the Baldwin item, 3 and 3 eighths, and then it's going to be 1 inch wide, is that... It's a bit imperceptible, but on the edge, that's not an exact 90 degree corner on the inside. There's a certain amount of bevel to it. I can see it over here as well. That's a, that, is a, that is a hallmark of high quality uh, hardware manufacturers in the sense that when you mortise the door, uh, router, template, and you're going to mortise it to 3 and 3 eighths by 1 inch. What you're going to find is if I put my caliper on this, caliper is actually telling me a point nine. Um, what I was hoping for was that it would be ever so slightly a little bit closer to 0.9. Its height, 0.3, pardon me, 3.378, 3.378. So it's right on at, um, it's right on at that dimension as well. The point of the bevel uh, or the relief on this angle is that when it enters the workpiece, you're not folding over any of the wood. Um, you should be fitting into it nice, and then as it flares out its bevels, it's really filling that cavity quite well, giving you a really nice hairline margin all the way around. And that is certainly a hallmark of higher quality material. When you are mortising this, um, there would be two preparations. There would first be the body prep, and that's where the two and a half inch by 0.906 come in. 
So if you prep that body two and a half inch, you can see that you're going to be in good shape to get the body down. You don't want to make it so hot, so large that you're going to get into where the screws are. Then the 0 0.906, that's going to be a reference to the width of this, right? So not that you can really see much of it, but you know, you're going to make it ever so slightly less than one inch because you've got that small shoulder that's here and you would want that to sit nicely onto the shoulder. And this design is better than others because they have more of a shoulder dimension here. Other manufacturers basically bring that flush all the way to the outside, and I don't like that. I want there to be a body prep that is narrower than the face or the plate prep so that there is no chance that there's any amount of preparation in the edge of the door that you can actually uh, realize appears to be overcut. So I like the fact that they're giving us these, this shelf right here on both sides, okay? Um, then you do the body prep first. Do the prep deep first. Uh, less chance of damaging the plate prep, the nice finished prep, by doing um, the, the body prep uh, before you do the plate. The plate prep being this, this is the plate. Um, dimensional properties for everything else that are there. There is a notation in the extended description that talks about how specially compounded rubber roller silently engages the strike and holds the door firmly closed without the loud clicks of ordinary locks. I can tell you that roller latches do make a measurable sound. Um, and I can tell you that I've had one client in particular who was aghast as to the sound that it made and the sound of the roller latch touching the strike basically ruined an entire project. Um, it then made me realize you never can tell what people will be sensitive to, so to be sensitive to that. Um, but the fact did indeed remain, it did make a sound. And while it's nothing that I think a hardware person thinks of, um, even though we should, uh, because in our mind, you know, that's how hardware works. You know, things touch each other. Door closers close. They make a sound. Um, you know, latches hit strikes. They make a sound. Automatic door bottoms drop and retract. They make a sound. Um, it did occur to me that the sound, once I was made aware of it, I did say to myself, if I had a choice of that being loud or not at all, I would sure prefer not at all. And the Baldwin product seeks to minimize that problem. I can tell you that this is a relatively soft compound. I can easily depress it. And I would say that it would be a really good option. Now, what's really great about this as well is you'll notice that there is a screw in there. So if you were to disassemble this, I am quite positive, And I don't know what the part number is. If, if even a replacement roller is available, that would be the downside of the roller that it would likely fatigue with time. But the ability to replace that over time really makes this a piece of equipment that you're going to enjoy installed for decades. Okay. Now, this is going to be available in all of the common finishes, uh, your brasses, your bronze, your chromes, your satin, your polished. Uh, oil rubbed. Being Baldwin, they can do it in other finishes as well. Probably on a special order basis, they can do any of their dozens of available finishes on this. The point being is you'll be able to match the finish of your hardware with um, the ma match the finish of your roller latch with other hardware, like their lock sets. Where are you going to use this? Well, most likely in the standard latch position um, of a door where you'll have a concealed edge pole or you'll have dummy trim very common. Uh, you will mount the hardware probably uh, compatibly with other hardware at a height from the floor to the center line uh, that you can audit the rest of the project to make sure that everything is uh, measured, for, uh, installed at the proper and compatible distance from the floor up to the center line. Uh, you'll certainly want to audit the, the, the space first before you just arbitrarily decide where to install it. If you're doing double doors, that'd be very typical. You're going to install this up into the top rail of the door. Um, I might probably want to see a dimension of somewhere in the range of, you know, three inch from the center line over to the center of this plate, something in that range. Uh, no hard and fast rules. You probably want to make sure that you're mortising this into the door at the top rail so that it, you're not necessarily hitting anything you should not be mortising into, like maybe um, you know, the end grain of 
the wood that you would rather just move over from if it's a, a style and rail door. May not be a big, big problem where you're going to install it. But somewhere close to the center, you want that roller action in the center. So you can use it in, in a pair of doors as well as a single door. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Baldwin products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. The Baldwin 0430 is one of, I believe, two roller latch options that they have. One of a family of a total of three options. The 0430 features the full lip strike. The same body can be ordered in the 0432. The only difference there is the strike. It will have a T-strike. Uh, the difference there being is what is your frame prepped for? Pick the strike that is most appropriate. Um, pick the strike that would be most similar to the other strikes installed on the project. Um, one might argue that it's less work to install the strike or to mortise for the strike in the 0430. There's not a reposition of your template or your router for that. Um, regardless, the, the full lip strike is in the 0430 variant is indeed more common. Then there is the 0440, which is a T strike. Um, that is going to be considered a smaller format. The uh, height of that's two and a quarter by one inch, I'm quite sure. So that 0440 roller latch is going to fit into your standard door preparation uh, so that you're not doing anything unusual in terms of a prep in the edge uh, of the door um, at all. Okay, So there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Baldwin products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog and several variants of several different full product catalogs and I would encourage you to review that information uh, that's there. There's also an archival catalog going back to the mid-1970s that's there and I'm always on the look uh, lookout for other archival interesting documents by all the manufacturers that we supply. It's very interesting to be able to go back in time 40 years with um, plus with Baldwin and see what they were making back then and you'll notice how little things have actually changed <laughs> in terms of hardware. What has changed, of course, is material science, you know, the availability of, um, you know, something like oil, uh, lifetime brass. That certainly wasn't available 40 plus years ago, uh, et cetera. But you will see product made today that was made in, at that time that was made a hundred years before, okay? So it all, we're all connected in history by this hardware because it has literally been around for an enormous amount of time. Any questions on the Baldwin 0430 and a 102 finish or any other Baldwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.